What is going on everybody? My name is Pete and you guys are watching Pay to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs proudly presented by PayToDriveStore.com. Go get yourself something nice. Links are down below. Go and check that out. And with that being said, my friends, um, if you guys drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job and all that good stuff. And just takes half a second of your time. Leave a quick comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D. And let's jump into this topic, a triple Lindy Thornton Mellon style. And here we go. Going over more of your feedback, my friends. And this was on that video where I was talking about how some restaurants are just up and leaving DoorDash, Grubhub, and Uber Eats, but more specifically DoorDash. And the reason why they're doing this is because of the, the big charges that they're getting, like the 25 to 35% that they have to dish out to these companies. And they realize that people are going out again more like physically and not ordering as much as they were. So they're like, you know what? People will come to us. So we don't need to be on these apps. Plus, not to mention that they're using their own in-house apps and promoting that on the internet and on TV. So this is what's going on. Uh, from La Petite Chateau, <coughs> I hope I said that right. This had 12 thumbs up on it. That's not why. The reason some restaurants want out is because a lot of DoorDash orders are not being picked up because of the really low payouts lately. And I really think they are stealing part of the tips. This was huge. I'm so glad that this person left this comment because that's another huge thing. Because of all the low ball offers, no one's picking up the orders and they're sitting around and they're wasting food. Big problem. From Jay Nixon, it all depends on your market. I'm constantly getting orders from multiple restaurants. I do about 10 hours a day and average about $225 to $250 a day, which is damn good money. Uh, Benjamin Carrico says, yes, I have become almost a chic delivery driver at lunch and at McDonald's at night. There are many exceptions, of course, but it's becoming soul crushing. And, you know, <laughs> that, that should be the quote of the year, the soul crushing of the, the gig economy. Absolutely. Lately, Betty Kaufman says in my market, they have actually added a couple of restaurants. One restaurant owner did tell me that some of their issues are people lying about not receiving parts of their order, causing them to lose money and rude dashers. That is another big thing is the fraud has gotten worse and worse. These are all things that is, is causing a snowball effect. Scott Mundy said, sounds like he only does the fat orders. I can do four to four, six to $7 orders an hour in the area I live in. Might drive 12 miles during that hour. Quit being spoiled and understand the grind. That had four thumbs up on it because there are some people that can average three to four orders per hour. In my market, due to the city area and parking issues and wait times at restaurants, I can average anywhere from two to three per order. Usually I'm uh, per hour. I usually do like two to two and a half. And what I mean by two and a half is by the top of the hour, like if it's 2.50 PM, I'm on to my third order by 2.50 PM. You know what I mean? Like if I start at two or something, or if I start at 11 AM by 11.50, I'm on to the third order, depending on where it is. So if you can knock out six to $7 orders, four of them per hour, I mean, you, you could be making up to like $25, $30 an hour, depending on, you know, how many you can get out. Um, Amanda Bovey says, hey, Pete, every single one of these comments on there are true. I've only been getting little restaurants and crazy amount of miles, fast food restaurants that don't pay good. The doors are usually still locked because they don't have the staff and the drive throughs are always long. And most of the times when I go in there, there's food sitting there for a while. I've been trying to get to the boosted zones lately to try and make the extra cash up. This has been another big issue. And the last one from Woodcutter says, the customer will come in, LOL. Yep, they will love those long drive-through lines in the 30-minute wait time. That had three thumbs up on it. So 
A lot of great feedback, lots of great points brought up. So drivers, dashers, what are your thoughts on this? Put it down below in the chat or the comments. Do you agree with this? Do you not add to the conversation? And if you guys ever have anything you wanna share with me, a comment, a topic, a question, a story, an article, whatever you have, send me an email, paid to drive stories at gmail.com. It's the best way to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you guys can always message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive that link is in the description down below or the pin top comment anyone who signs up as a patron is my way of saying thank you is i give you guys shout outs in all my new videos and i give you guys moderator privileges on my channel so i'm going to do those shout outs now when you hear your name called say hey pete i heard my name so we've got ron grubb our tier five driver followed by john birchfield david moore Angela Counts McCarty, Brian Pomeroy, Sean Gibson, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Jimmy Santiago, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Laura Love, Tulsa Todd, Agus, April Jewup, Alan G. Van Horn, Nick Gilroy, Drew Hanor, Todd Rosemanith, Fernando Carranza, Joe the Gig Driver, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casa, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Tom Perry, Chadrick Howell, Brian Richardson, Kayla Quintero, Candace Mitchell, Joyce Hine, LaDonna Roten, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, Valerie Brown, Rebecca Swenson, Melody Longs, Kevin Roberson, and Mel Chaos Lewis. So big shout outs to every single one of you. If you guys want to sign up, links are down below. Appreciate you all. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be you. Let's find out. And moving right along, I hope you're all saving uh, lots of money on your gas using the free gas app called Get Upside or Upside, whatever they're calling it these days. Links in the description or the pinned top comment. Of course, scroll down to where it says Get the Free Gas app. When you click on there, it'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device you have. And then from there, what you got to do is you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it today. And of course, if you guys want to get one of these awesome Live to Drive, Drive to Live shirts, they're available now at PaidToDriveStore.com. Links in the description or the pin top comment, of course. Um, we have brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day. PaidToDriveStore.com is the place for you. Go and check it out today. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. Leave a quick comment saying END745, END745. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever i post something new and also are you guys all subscribed to my other channel team ptd well if you're not i have the link in the description down below or the pin top comment if you like the content here you'll like the content there so go subscribe tap the bell do a youtube search team ptd and you're good to go don't forget to drop a like on this video. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job and it takes half a second of your time. And leave a quick comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Later.